Valentine's Day just might be a somber one for most Kenyans this year, according to a study released by research firm Ipsos Sinovit, indicating that 51% of Kenyans have opted not to celebrate the day due to harsh economic times. So on today's edition of Street Symphony, we want to know from Kenyans what they plan to do on the special day. Come with us and find out. Today, have you sold quite a bit, or what was your what were your sales like? Uh, not not much. We are dialing it down a bit, as opposed to last year where you go for a trip, maybe Nax, Coast, anywhere. This time, this time you dial it down a bit. You do lunch, or supper at home, dinner. She cooks, you know. That's 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 pretty much it. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> too expensive. So, you know, we wouldn't do anything, maybe towards the end of the year. Yeah, so we'll just have dinner and or we could just watch a movie. It as well. <laughs> <laughs> or watch a movie and sleep. Yeah. Fair enough, as long as you have each other. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's the most important matters. thing. <laughs> From last year, we have economic challenges, and this Valentine will be more costly than the one which was there last year. So, yeah, but we'll still celebrate it. It's still a day, and we have to celebrate it since it's, it comes once in a year. I might spend a little bit more because I have to make it special. It's a special day so you have to cook extra costs. Yeah. What I'd like to do this year that I did last year is uh, I could pamper myself with maybe a pedicure, manicure, facial, you know, so just making myself look beautiful for myself. What's going to be different? Mm, I think she's worth it, as in the much I think she's worth it. Yeah, so it will be pretty good that I can promise her. So you're not one of those guys who has been hit by the tough economic times? Not really. 